Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CERN. And indeed, welcome to CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva. Welcome to the CERN Control Center. This is a view of the LHC underground tunnel. The LHC is the protagonist today. It's uh, poised for another of its world records. We are trying to put to take the energy of the LHC to 7 tera electron volt to get collisions at 7 tera electron volt. This is the first attempt in history. Today, March the 30th, 2010, we've tried to reach the highest energy yet achieved in a particle accelerator. This is going to happen in uh, around three hours or so and hopefully it's going to mark the start of the LHC research program and a new era into the history of particle physics. Good morning. Soon uh, we should be ready after ramping at 3.5 TV for collision today. I think everybody is, uh, is anxious to go down and uh, look for, uh, for the ramp and then for uh, setting the beam in, uh, in collision. Eh? Thank you. That comparison tells us a lot about the complexity of these kind of operations. So. To get them to go on axis, basically, to get uh, the beam position to zero. Yeah, these kind of energies uh, and what we're doing is something of the order of 100 microns. So, okay, we're both beams at 3.5 TV, and we've just uh, collapsed the separation bumps and brought the beams into collision at the four inside the four experiments. So. At the moment, we have collisions, but the experiments aren't turned on fully at the moment. So the next stage is to bring the collimators into place, and then we can change mode to stable beams, and then the experiments can switch on their detectors fully and start taking data. Schuhkraft, uh, the spokesperson of uh, the ALICE collaboration. Collisions have arrived about 20 minutes ago in ALICE as well. Uh, first we had only a few detectors on because there were not yet stable beams declared and so we had to wait a little bit. People got nervous, people got anxious but once the stable beam flag was cleared we could start all the other detectors, ramp up the high voltages and then about seven minutes ago or so the first event uh, popped up in the counting room greeted with a lot of cheers and some champagne which we are still drinking uh, and now of course we are collecting the data and checking that everything works well but it looks very good so we are collecting data at a quite good pace the beams we looked at it they are nicely centered uh, so for us this looks fine congratulations to the machine thank you for having given us some beam a little bit later than we actually thought we are here since since quite early this morning but better later than nothing and this beam is really great collaboration the seen events we can see them on the screen this is physics in the making so good good afternoon from the atlas control room we have observed the uh, first collisions beautiful events with a lot of tracks uh, so the beam uh, collided perfectly and uh, the detector is working well so it's a it's a, it's a big emotion and uh, to see um, all these nice events popping up our, our detector uh, it's a, it's the beginning of really a new a new era of uh, great physics exploration so we are all uh, we are all uh, so proud and so happy and we are sharing this with uh, everybody in the atlas uh, collaboration all over the world uh, this is the cms control room also a couple of minutes ago also recovering <laughs> this is a recording from a few minutes ago cms seeing the first collisions inside their yeah, detectors at seven tera electron volt a few minutes ago the person with the mobile phone seen from the back is the spokesperson guido tonelli and this is the cms collaboration Guido Tonelli, we've seen you clapping your hands, surrounded by happy physicists from the CMS collaboration. It was a historical, but especially a happy moment for, for you. Yeah, hi, Paula. First of all, you can see here from the, the faces and the brilliant eyes of the people 
that we have spent many, many days and many months of preparation for this moment. But basically, at the end, we are here. And we were expecting, to be really frank, just uh, a few events, uh, one per second or so. And we were really surprised to see rates at the level of 100 hertz. That means 100 events per second. And event display, we are showing not only minimum bias event, but also something that could be immediately interesting. So we really are starting physics. And this is the really the first time in which we enter a new territory. Exploring 70 EV will be a fantastic adventure. We are just at the beginning. Clearly, we have to do a lot of work. We have to understand our detector, to understand physics in this new region of energy. But uh, if we are lucky, in, within a few months, we'll be able to really start a major adventure in modern physics. Then you see that there is a movie. I don't know if you can see. There are protons coming. This is a real event. These are the hits in the tracker, and these are the release of the energy in our real... It's not a simulation. Uh, yes, it was a great moment of excitement here uh, when they uh, moved the beam into collisions and uh, immediately we had uh, an increase in the trigger rate and then they made a small adjustment uh, due to the uh, orbit correction that they had measured during the night and uh, we, we moved up to 60 events per second which is uh, exactly what we would expect from, uh, from the colliding beam. So it's... Uh, it's really a great achievement. Now we are we are here in LHCB. We are trying to move in the VELO, you know, the vertex locator, which is this very delicate silicon detector, which is uh, in the um, very close to the beam, and we have to move it in very carefully because, of course, uh, if the beam is hitting it, uh, hitting it, uh, it could be damaged. So it's uh, now being moved uh, closer that it, than it has ever been from the beam, and we do that step by step, but. Uh, we reconstruct events and uh, everything is uh, working as expected. Which, Which counts, counts in thousands of people, people particularly young people, people working very hard to achieve. Okay, so we have finally got the beams into collision at 3.5 TeV per beam. I think we're all very emotional, very happy. Uh, it's a great time for us and, um, well, uh, this is the, the, the first real important milestone that we have for starting to do discovery physics in uh, LHC. It's taken us three attempts this morning, as you probably noticed, but um, now we are in collision, now we are in stable beams, and the, 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 the detectors are taking data continuously. This is Director General with Director for Research, Sergio Bestellucci, both from Japan. We are very happy and we congratulate everybody involved from the machine to all the experiments. It is a fantastic moment for science. And Lynn was saying it's the end of a long road. I would say it's the beginning of a long, fantastic era of particle physics, of fundamental science. Thank you very much. We are all excited. Great. <laughs>